25 years ago, we had a crisis in one of our major manufacturing sites. We did not know how to, we were going to meet the customer expectation of reducing our lead time, reducing our cost. We reached out to Toyota, TSSC, and they agreed to, to come and help and support us. To lose Herman Miller, it would have devastated the whole town. My father-in-law worked here. My husband also works here, so I don't know where I would be. If it wasn't for TPS and the improvements that we were able to generate using that approach, we're not sure that we would still be around as an organization. So they've been able to strengthen their manufacturing, and particularly in North America, it's helped them have more jobs and better jobs uh, in the U.S. and North America than they would have had otherwise. I think that's a significant part of the story. A year ago, Herman Miller decided to merge with our, one of our largest competitors, Knoll Furniture. So Miller Knoll in the furniture industry is very, uh, very interesting, kind of like automotive. There are a lot of changes going on in that sector. Today, there's a lot more online ordering of furniture, digital design of uh, room layouts and equipment. Without the merger, there would be challenges from our ability to, to take leaps and, and go take that next level of market share. We were on a continuous improvement path, but we would have had a lot of starts and stops and, and struggles along the way in trying to essentially learn that on our own. 25 years ago, uh, TSSC helped Herman Miller develop their first model line, or we could experiment with TF TPS, go deep. We call it inch wide, mile deep approach. Since then, Herman Miller spread it to other sites, developing model lines in their other facilities and then growing TPS. We've got one, two, three, four. So here at East Greenville, we're helping develop a model line on the generation chair line. From that learning, they'll be able to take this as a model and share it with all the other sites in the Knoll system. So we were fortunate enough to, to go out to the greenhouse heating operations uh, in Michigan. What we saw up there were their higher, you know, higher productivity production lines, really manual, using hand tools, really not placing an emphasis on machines, placing the emphasis on people, and basically trying to design a line that wouldn't go down, which is an issue that we were struggling with here at Knoll. It looks like you're stepping back in time because you see less automation, but doing it in a way that with your, your people being your greatest assets, allowing them to flow the chairs, maybe eventually creating more of a mixed model version of that, so you're not just making one chair, but, but multiple chairs in the same line. The new model line will allow us to go from a two shift to a one shift operation due to the efficiencies that we're going to gain through the repeatability of the new line the reduction of downtime. Right, okay. okay. So yeah, capture all the inventory here. Okay. As Herman Miller and Knoll have come together under Miller and Knoll, we've decided that we are going to use TPS across all of our global manufacturing sites. Once we were notified of the merger, we met with the um, operational leaders at Herman Miller. So we want to increase their value add. The challenge becomes, how do we do that? And we discussed um, what that meant with regard to the Knoll organization and how we could quickly bring the Knoll leadership on board. All the way to raw material? That's correct. We felt it was important for those leaders at the Knoll sites to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the TSSC coaches like the legacy sites in West Michigan. You know, I come from a manufacturing background. My family's been in the automotive industry for maybe 70, 80 years. So I experienced, you know, the layoffs and the walkouts and all those other things that plagued the auto industry in the 70s. And so for me, if we can share that with other manufacturing organizations, help level up their capability, stabilize their operations, help them maximize productivity and reduce lead time, that company is going to be around for a while. And those families won't have to put up or deal with the situations I did growing up. <laughs>